This is into math, uh, grade eight, lesson seven. We're talking about finding the mean of numbers and then also talking about some graphs. So uh, what is the mean? The mean is when you take the sum of all numbers and divide it by the quantity of those numbers, by the number of numbers technically. Say um, a girl is competing in a skating competition and this is the scores that she hears. What is the average score that she got? 5.3, 4.8, 5.4, 5.3. In order for us to find the average or the mean score, we need to add up all these numbers together and divide by the number of numbers. So 5.3 plus 4.8 plus 5.4 plus 5.3 and over 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 numbers. At the top we'll get 20.8 and divided by 4 the average score is 5.2. So this is the mean of the given set of numbers. Before we talk about graphs, let's look at a circle and the angles of a circle. Say I have a circle with the center O. The complete circle is 360 degrees. So 360 is a full rotation angle around the circle. Half a circle, or we call it semicircle, is 180 degrees. A quarter of a circle, has to go right through the center, is 90 degrees. So this portion here, this sector here, is 90 degrees. And then I can continue cutting the angles. Half of 90, this is 45 degrees now, and so on. Why we need this, you'll see in a second. A pie graph is a sectoral graph that helps you visually see which part of something is represented by which quantity. For example, I know that the total rotation, the whole circle, is 360 degrees. Then if I say that 20% of this circle is something, is a quantity, say I'm talking about people who watch TV, 20% of the people watch TV, then I need to find 20% of 360 and use protractor to find that portion of circle in terms of an angle that will correspond to this particular quantity. You have an example in your notes and I encourage you to check it out. Another example of a graph is a bar graph. When you have a relationship between two um, quantities and you want to express it in terms of a bar graph. It looks like this, and it has certain values at the bottom and right here on the vertical axis. And it usually shows you the range between one and two, two and three, and so on and so forth. So we use bar graphs with quantities that represent a certain range of uh, pieces from one to something and on from there. Um, bar graphs and pie graphs could be used at the same time or interchangeably. They're both very visually telling and uh, they're very useful when you want to um, show the information rather than just explain it in words or in equations and so on. This is it for this lesson. Thanks for being with me. I encourage you to do some practice on this uh, lessons material and then you're done. This is the end of grade eight. Congratulations.